Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I think I say that every day, because we do always do something slightly different at least. Um, today we're going to be finding ways to destroy something on the scale of an entire galaxy, because we've done planets, we've done solar systems, but what about the entire Milky Way? <laughs> So, let's look at the different ways that we can tear apart the Milky Way and make it pretty much, well, unrecognizable, I guess. So the first way we can do this is pretty simple. If we have a very, very large black hole coming in from, we'll go pretty far away. We'll go from here and we'll be able to see the effect this has. And now we have a black hole heading towards our Milky Way. Now the scary thing about this is it would be very, very hard to detect this far away, even if it was moving extremely quickly towards us. Um, for added effect, let's make it move at light speed. There we go. Moving at the speed of light now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Um, Let's let's restart this. That's fine. I should have seen that coming. I thought I had the uh, I forgot that we have it on one I think that's million. Yeah, one million years per second So uh, let's let's redo that without being quite as ridiculous So if we go over here and we have this black hole moving at light speed towards the Milky Way now we're going to slow things down. Let's not go millions of years per second. Let's go, to start, let's go 400 years per second. That's not noticeable. Okay, so now if we go a few thousand years per second. Now this is quite impressive. Moving at the speed of light is extremely fast, even though the galaxy, we can't see any visible spin because of the extremely, extremely short amount of time it's been since we've started. Even though thousands of years may not seem short, that's pretty short considering that it's spanning pretty much the distance of the entire Milky Way galaxy. And here we are. We are actually getting extremely close to our galaxy. And we're going to see it start having small gravitational effects on nearby star clusters, which it's not going to immediately be visible, the effects it's having, but it will be very visible in good in in time in time we will see them get flung but this is moving so quickly it doesn't give anything much time to react and it's going for the other black hole in the center of the Milky Way and it's going to the center and is it going to collide or get close I can't tell it appears it went by so let's see what effect this has on the Milky Way As time goes on, is there any noticeable effect? Well, it seems like the center of the galaxy has been a little bit uh, messed up. And the entire spiral um, design of the galaxy has been kind of torn. It's really uh, been affected by this. <laughs> it doesn't look like much more than a blob now. So, the galaxy looks bad. But other than- oh, jeez. And it's spitting out clusters of stars at the same time. So, yes, there has been a bit of damage done to the Milky Way. But I wouldn't call this total destruction by any means. Uh, we need to go a little bit bigger for it to do that much damage. So let's go back to the nice spiral Milky Way before we messed it up completely. And let's do this again. Let's grab the black hole. We'll give it a lot more time to move to have more effect. And we're going to triple the size of it. Or about triple the size of it. And here we are going towards the Milky Way over millions and millions and millions and millions of years. Yes, this would not happen within any of our lifetimes. It would take an absolutely ridiculous amount of time to happen. But, let's see the effect it has. As it slowly nears. 
Hashtag lag. I don't think we're going to be able to handle this. This is a problem. Darn computer. So we're going to speed this up just so that we can actually see the effect it has. We're going to go here and we're going to set it to... First we're going to pause the game. This is one of the reasons I set it to a light speed to begin with because I know it will not lag nearly as much. If we put it on one light speed, just slow down everything a bit. Here we go. But to counteract that and make the effect more visible, we are just going to do 10 times this. So let's see what this does. An even larger black hole heading towards the Milky Way over the course of thousands of years. Very, very scary stuff. And now... Oh shoot, I've lost it. We're still following it. Here we are. Here's the black hole moving through the heart of the Milky Way. And passing by. Now we can delete it and see the effect it has on the galaxy. Which once again, it's mixed things up pretty well. It doesn't look recognizable at all. But how would we actually destroy the galaxy? <laughs> this is a good question. We can really mix it up, but there's two ways I know of to really mess with uh, the Milky Way. The first one would be, for some reason, the, well, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way would be destroyed. Um, which, you can't really destroy a black hole, but, you know, for the purpose of the video, let's do it. Boom! It's gone. And watch what happens. The centrifugal force of the galaxy spinning causes the entire thing to push outward and actually make a nice little circle. And that circle will stretch out and become thinner over time, get really large, and everything will just fly on its way. Goodbye, galaxy. <laughs> Very nice knowing you. And there's one way for us to end the galaxy, and now it's not even recognizable. Billions of years later, there is no knowledge of the Milky Way. Another way we can destroy the galaxy is by just... Well, let's see what happens when the Andromeda Galaxy actually runs into it. This is a included simulation, which is why I didn't really look at it. But, yep, the Andromeda Galaxy, which is currently hurtling towards the Milky Way, is going to collide with it. And it's going to rip it apart a bit and throw things around. But you will notice that at the end, there will be some globular uh, galaxy thing in the center. It will be very confusing. and won't really look like a galaxy. But there's still something there. So it hasn't been completely destroyed. It simply merged. Well, I guess some people would consider that completely destroyed. It doesn't look anything alike. And probably every... Uh, anything living in either galaxy will be, uh, in a lot of trouble after that. And let's look at way number three. This is just bringing things overboard. Bringing a black hole so large that it's probably not even physically possible next to, uh, the Milky Way. So let's simulate this. Here's our black hole. And let's slowly increase the mass as the simulation goes on. And let's see what happens to the Milky Way. So very soon we're going to begin to see its gravitational effects take place and start pulling on the Milky Way. But I think we can call this quits here. We need to put the black hole much closer for it to have much of an effect because gravity is much weaker when it's this far away, which is one of our huge problems here. It's just so far. But if we move it closer, let's see if it has much more of an effect on the galaxy. Here we are. 
The galaxy is slowly moving towards it at... Probably not slowly. <laughs> kilometers and kilometers per second. If we speed things up a bit... We can see that the galaxy is now being ripped apart by the black hole and thrown and tossed all over the place. And I think we just flung the galaxy and now it is just a giant pool of stars. It's kind of been ripped apart in many ways. But like I said before, it's kind of hard to destroy a galaxy. They're so large and there's just so much mass included that... Well, it's not something to really worry about because of the amount of time it would take. And if you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you all next time. Poof.